All right, so this question two, this is like, it's interesting in some sense because it's like a functions question in an exam that, that does not have functions on the syllabus, okay? They're trying to define L and R as functions, okay? So the first line is already sus. So L and R are defined, okay? So it's saying, trust me, it's defined. But, in, but whenever you're a mathematician, you don't trust people that it's defined. You actually verify that it's well-defined. Why is it might not be well defined? Because the same number can be represented by different fractions, right? So it could be 2p over 2q, that's the same number, right? Does that make sense? So p and q might not even be simplified, yeah? But the point is, if there's a common, if there's a common factor k on the top and the bottom, it'll cancel in the output as well, right? So if there's a you, you don't. That's you the that's the beauty of it. Yeah. See, because because it's it, because it's well defined, you can take any fraction as the input, and it'll give you the same output. Yeah. So that's that's how this that's why this question works basically. So this question, you can just do it like you can manually do it. Yeah, but when you manually do it, you're assuming that the operations are actually defined, right? So I'm trying to tell you that outside the exam, you should actually check that they are defined. So you start with one on one, right? And you apply R, which adds the new denominator to the numerator, yeah? And then you apply L, which adds the numerator to the denominator. Yeah? And then you get five on three, yeah? And then you get what? Oh, it is Fibonacci. How many do we do this for? That's a lot. It's pretty fast, right? Yeah, it's 13 on 8. And then. Wait, is there just Yeah, it is. You can just, you don't have to do anything. You can just get the sum at the beginning and go from there. Yeah. Just kind of don't want to be off by one. How many R's and L's have we done? One, two, three. So we do one, two, three. So we need to do another two more, right? Oh. <laughs> 21 what's that third 34 and then L is 55 okay and then we do two more yeah so then it's 89 and then um 89 on 144 yeah is that right is that our answer um 233. Okay, well, do we know it's simplified? Eighty-nine may be a prime. So it's, it's, it's all threes and twos are the only things that are in. Yeah, so I think when you're checking it's well defined, I think you can also check that it's like if the original two numbers are co-prime, then the, the other fractions are also co-prime. Okay. So it actually preserves co-primeness, these operations. So then you don't have to cancel or anything or check, think about canceling. Okay, so if it's 89 over 144, is that what you got? Yeah. Then it should be like, so 233, 235. 
Yeah. yeah. I think it's the function notation is going to be it's going to get a lot of people. So, like, see, like it's not it's obvious if you know about functions, but if it's just like you don't know about it, what was like? Is it obvious you should write L brackets p over q? Like, maybe maybe it's come up in other kind of questions, but like having a letter next to a bracket, I don't know. It could it could it could be strange notation for some people. Are right, any questions about that? Oh no, you can't have calculators in this one now. Yeah.